Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Knowledge King and today we are going to see some interesting topic on arrays. We have seen arrays in our previous chapters, okay? But today we are going to see how to dynamically read and dynamically write into an array. So in our previous example, we saw that arrays, okay, we defined some predefined some values and we popped, pushed, spliced and, and did some methods on arrays and even saw how to get the length of that array. But in this video, we are going to see how to dynamically read an array, an array of object and how I can just basically modify that values. In this video, we are going to see some basic integration of how we can use the core for loop and how we are going to involve it with our uh, normal array. So let's start with a simple array. Let's start with a simple creating of simple array. So we create an array using let's say I give a name that ERR equal to I just add some random values 30, 40 and 50. So now my array dot length ARR basically the ARR dot length is 5 because it has 5 different values 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. If I want to just print it so let's say that I, I need to print the 10, 20, 30 and 40 in a sequence how usually I do it ERR of like 0 the 0th position that will uh, basically return me 10 the same thing is with like ARR of 1, ARR of 2, ARR of 3 and last but not the least ARR of 4. So basically my array starts from 0 and it goes to the 4th index. 0 to 4 that totally makes 5. And if I just simply run it, it will just give me the values 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Now what I did over here in this example, I have to manually write console.log, 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 console.log and console.log. I wrote it 5 times. But do you think it's a, it's a good way to do that? No, that is absolutely bad. Okay. Right now we have like only five values, but what if this five becomes 50 tomorrow, right? And that's the reason you cannot write uh, console.log, console.log, uh, console.log 50 times. Uh, you cannot do that. So to make our life easier, we can use for loop with a combination of your arrays. So how we can do that? Let's quickly do that. Oops. I was just having writing this something like this. These usually returns 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. So I'll just quickly remove all of them except the first one. So it will just give me like 10 and I will start my for loop over here and I will end the for loop over here. So basically in between my for loop, I'm going to write all of these consoles. So if I start my uh, for loop from 0 till like 5 not 5, 4, 5 minus 1, that is my index 0 to 4, that is total 5, then I can easily print this consoles. How I can do that? Let's say for where i equal to 0 semicolon, so this is my initialization, we have seen this in my previous videos, i is less than 5, less than 5 that is 4, so maximally my array will go to, to the value of Four. So I will maximally reach the value of 4 I++ plus plus. and my array as I said starts here and my array would end here. Now what I am doing, I am starting the value of array at 0 and I am going till 4. But here if you see all the times, okay, all the 5 times I am just looping my console.log with array of 0th value. So what would be the output? It would just print 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 because what is array of 0? That is 10. I am just iterating it 5 times and that will just give me 5 times 10. See, the console.log is 5 and that is repeating the value over the 5 times. How I can do this? So my i now consists of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Instead of 0, I can only do is console.log arr of i. So when the first time my loop is starting, it will say console.log arr of 0. Automatically when my loop does a plus plus, 1 is less than 5, it will start and go to arr of 1 and so on. Refresh. 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. Whatever your array is, you can just simply do something like this. But what if tomorrow my array is increased by let's say I add a couple of more values, 60 and 70, I added two more values. 
but if I still refresh it, my array will print only 10 till 50. It starts from 10 and it prints till 50. But where is 60 and 70? Now, how you can do that? How you can print the 60 and 70? Because we added it later. What you have to do? You have to like again change from i is less than 5 to i is less than 7. And you will be able to print that. But every time you have to do this, you have to like change this value from i is less i starts from 0 and i is less than to something which is not right correct so what we can do is how we can get what is the length of this array how many values does it consist you already have a property which we have seen in the previous video and that is the length property instead of modifying this value every time what we can do we can simply say it starts from 0 and it goes to the length of your array so what is the length of my array how many numbers are there in my array or how many values specifically are there in my array there are seven right so it starts from zero it is less than seven that means it will start from zero till six save and run the output remains the same let's say that if i add a couple of more like 80 and 90 so it will automatically check that that it starts from 10 and it goes till the length of your array so basically you can do all kinds of modifications in your, in your array basically now what we are doing over here we are reading the values from the array in real life scenarios this is the same thing that you do but you use some different properties like you use maps filters reducers every sum there are number of methods that you have similar to what your for loop does okay but why you are not seeing that right now because that is a part of ES6 we have a whole different chapter altogether for that but even you can use a normal vanilla JS for loop this is called as a vanilla JS because this is a core JavaScript that you are using this core for loop you can use because behind the scene all those maps filters and all those properties use normal for loops inside them they have some additional properties they have their own benefits they have their own pros and cons but we are not going to discuss that now we are going to see that in our future videos right now this is interesting that we can iterate through our arrays using plain for loop you can do the same thing using your while loops too i keep it on you that you try it on your own and check how you can do that with while loop you can refer to our previous videos okay uh, the whiles and for loops that we did and you can try to do that on your own i keep that on you i hope you do it if you still don't know if you still get some uh, issues doing that do let me know in the comment i'll show you a separate uh, example in the comment section or i'll just make a video for you for that till now what we did we just read something from the array now let's say that i want to dynamically enter some values in my array. here this was simple plain reading now using for loop itself let's say that i don't have any value in my array i'll just simply remove it my array is totally empty now how can i enter some values dynamically in my array how do we do that usually arr of zero let's say that something like i i just add 10 and if i just print this arr my array what it will do it will just simply say what are the values in my array but i want to do the same thing using an for loop what i simply want to do is let's say instead of adding 10 20 30 40 50 i'll simply do 1 2 3 4 5 in my array so you uh, do it like five numbers or 10 numbers will will simply do that right now so i'll start my for loop where i equal to 0 i is less than let's say i'm going to add 10 numbers so it starts from 0 and i'm going to enter 0 to 9 that is 10 values i plus plus okay and arr of i or the best way to do this you should not do something like this arr of i this is not a good way basically what you are saying over here is that you are updating the values we have different kinds of things right all the crude operations add edit delete so how do we add uh, we have seen this in a previous video that to add something into an array you have push method to delete something from an array you have pop method to update something from an array you can simply just use its index 
use this use this index value and you can update something you're inserting into the array you're deleting from an array and you're simply updating this is very important okay and that's the reason we are not updating something from an array we are right now inserting into an array so simply array dot push would do i start from i just say the value of i what i am pushing i am pushing the value In initially i am pushing 0 1 2 3 4 5 let's just quickly print the array console dot log will simply go ahead and print the complete array in your uh, console you don't need to loop it the console will do it for you see but this only happens in the console in real life you if you are doing the programming you have to like iterate it using for loop so now i have the values 0 to 9 but what i said in the program that i want to add from 1 to 10 so think for a minute and do let me know how you can do that how you are going to uh, enter the values starting from 1 not starting from 0 till 10 so it should be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 how you're gonna do that just pause your video for a minute i'm gonna see, uh, show you the solution right away now to do that you just need to simply the easiest way is just add i plus 1 so you are doing 0 0 plus 1 every time the next it will just do a plus plus the i would become 1 1 plus 1 2 so it will start from 1 and it will print till 10 see so let's say i don't want to start from 1 i want to start from 10 how you are going to do that so again this is an uh, input for you Think over it and do let me know how you're gonna update that. How you're gonna insert starting from 10 to 100. Pause the video for a minute and do it. The simplest output for this is, so what you're doing over here, 0 plus 1, that is 1 and multiply it by 10. So 1 into 10 is 20, then 1 will become 2, uh, I will become 1, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 into 10, 20 and the output for your uh, example is it starts from 10 and it goes to 100 this is the way you modify your array in our whole program okay we started from something we read the value of from an array now we uh, added something into an array but now our, our last but not the least example from this array is something that we are going to do is updating your array right you have to like modify your array so to make the same example, okay, let's to, let's go through the same example that we have an array where we have the values like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 till 100. Whenever you see the value like 50, you don't need the value 50 in your array. You just have to simply remove it, right? And you can keep all the other values. So what the program is now, so what assessment we are going to see is we have like 10, 20, 30, 40 till 100. So whenever we see the value 50, we have to delete it and we have to keep the rest of the values. So first, let's make a array. So I'll simply do it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. So let me quickly save it. We have a simple array. I'll just uh, remove this for loop and everything. Now what we have to do is we simply have to like we don't have anything i'll just print my array this is the original array let me do write it for you that this is the original array so this is our original array now let's start up writing our program so what do we need to do we are going to read each and every value in that array how do we do that the simple way to do is we start reading the array the array always and always starts from 0 and where do we go till? We go till the array of length and it's a simple every time it's uh, let's increment the index by 1. It starts from 0, it goes to the length of the array that is 10. So 0 to 10, to 10 minus 1 basically it is less than 10. So 0 to 9 that would be 10 indexes and I will go through each and every value from this array. Now what do I need to do? I'm gonna use a combination of for and conditions so what our condition says that whenever the value in the array is 50 delete it okay simple or let's instead of deleting it let's modify it and see first let's modify 
we see the output and then let's delete it and see the output so we can have all of them that updating deleting and modifying the stuff so what we are doing is simply we are checking the value of i arr of i now what does it returns it returns all the individual values so every time it will go first it will check 10 it will then check 20 it will then check 30 40 50 and so on so what we are going to check if the value in the array is 50 on that same position do something that arr update the value let's say that we update the value from 50 to 55 right as I have shown you before that to update the value we simply just do ARR of I2 and update it. Let's see if our program works. So whenever we just added a condition that whenever it was 50 we modified the value of the array to 55. Let's print this value and see console.log modify array and we just print the value of the array. Can you see the original array was 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. But now the modified array is 10, 20, 30, 40 and 55 because we modified the value. Let's do something else. Okay. Now we saw that how we can modify the array. But what if you want to remove the value 55? So to remove something from an array, I said to delete something, uh, to delete a value from an array. What I said that we use pop. But what does pop do? Pop remove always remove the last element from the array. So if I just say arr.pop, oops error.pop it's gonna remove the last value so that it will re start removing 190 and, and so on right but that is not gonna help us out just see if i say error.pop what it will do it will not remove 50 it will start it will remove 100 just see it removed the value 100 it whenever it checked 50 but it removed the pop it removed the last value we, no, we don't want that we want to remove 50 itself so whenever this is very important Whenever you want to remove something from in between the array, there is another method that is splice. So now, arr dot splice. If you see over here, splice basically has two values, but it does not have two values. It has three parameters. It is showing as two parameters, but in actual, it has three parameters. The first, from which position you want to remove the value okay this is nothing but your position okay from what index instead of position let's add it index because from what index you want to remove it's not the position if i say 50 the position is not 5 the index is 4 so i want to remove from the fourth position something how many number of values you want to delete so do you want to delete one value two values three values next parameter is how many values you want to add so if i say I start adding something like 110 okay so this will start this will add basically 110 in that particular position we'll see this later again okay we are gonna see so many examples but for now we have to remove something from that index and how many values do we need to remove one so let's see this example so I just say arr.splice from where do we need to delete it from ith position from fourth position right from fourth index and how many values do we need to delete one let's simply do this and refresh can you see now the modify array does not have 50 in it you don't see like after 40 you don't see 50 in between so this is the way you add you update you read you delete from an array i hope this makes quite easy for you and the same way we we also said at the beginning of that uh, in the beginning of our program that we have to like uh, we are gonna see array of uh, modifying array of objects too in the same way what is array of object it's simple an array so the same thing you can do it in array of objects too we are gonna see some more examples not right now but in a future video that we have packed it for next i hope you like this video if you like this video please give us a thumbs up and do like us, share with your friends and do comment us what do you need more into these videos. Thank you. Thank you so much.